Chapter 10 Iron Hammer Seiya sees the sword of Hades that resonates with his beating heart. He knows now that Hades will never let him die. The Cyclops laughs at Seiya, for his enemy is now the only thing that keeps his soul in this world, and that there is only one dirty cloth left. Seiya says he will not allow him to make fun of his cloth that has the hope of his dead friends. The Cyclops starts to beat on Seiya and, and tells him to stop challenging the gods and mocks humanity's existence. He cannot understand why Uranus wants this world. And though there is more dialogue that you can read below, that is more or less the gist of the chapter. A bit disappointing, honestly. Was actually hoping to see Hades himself appear, but just seems to be a physical representation of Hades binding Seiya to the universe that the Cyclops seems to find funny. Now, normally I'm not a fan of these basic egotistical Saint Seiya gods, but at the very least, this Cyclops does have a trollish asshole, asshole vibe to him. The way he talks, in fact, he does not seem to even care about anything going on and is just happy to fuck things up, so that's good. Also his techniques sound like something that Vikmon would use. I'm guessing next chapter, Seiya will find a way to overcome the Cyclops. For now, please remember to like, sub, and hit the bell.